Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and where we open shiny repacks of old school magic cards. Oh, can't wait to open this, but first let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, this is actually a repack booster that was exclusively sold at a tournament called Dead Bot Con, and that was a really nice event organized by David Chrome David. Thank you very much, David, for organizing it. It was in Utrecht. We also did a live stream there, and I had a lot of fun playing my Elementals deck, because obviously, you know, when you've got this bad boy on your buttons, you know, I had to bring my Earth Elemental army. So I'll just, you know what, I'll show you a little picture of the deck that I played there. I just had lots and lots of fun with that. Um, and these uh, packs, whoop, there it goes. These packs were just for the people that attended the event. And if you wanted to, you could buy one. They were 25 euros a pop. And uh, just to make sure that everybody could have one, they first just sold one to everybody who was interested. And then when there were some left, some people could buy seconds. Um, I just bought this one and I'm gonna open it up. I think in general, it's a pretty cool idea, you know, to uh, to do these kind of repacks uh, at tournaments because as an old school player, I really enjoy opening booster packs, but I'm just not into the current Magic boosters. But we all know the prices are insane for, you know, just singles in old school, let alone a sealed booster pack. It's just, it's, it's madness to get your hands on. You know, even, even a booster pack of fourth edition is very, very expensive these days. So, you know, if you want to open something, I guess this is kind of the best way to have that feel back. And, and the nice thing was um, um, you pay 25 euros for one of these and, you know, you get the value back in the pack. Now, obviously, some are better than others because you want to have that thrill of opening a booster pack, right? Uh, but these are just really just repacks with that purpose. So it's different, for example, than what I did, what they did for the Upton Troll Cup, where they had repacks to draft with. You know, that's a completely different uh, scenario. Anyway, before I open this, and you're probably getting anxious, like, why did you open it now? Uh, before I open it, though, I first want to show you a couple of booster packs uh, of these surprise repack boosters that were opened on the live stream of uh, of DadBotCon and I kind of go through those before I open my own shiny red one. So let's have a look at those openings. Okay, so here we go. So you can hear actually our voices in the background, my voice and the voice of the person opening it. I think in this case, it's Peter who's opening this one. And uh, yeah, curious to see what it's going to be. It can be everything, really. There are even beta comments in here that you can pull, but I think also some nice legend rares, all sorts of stuff. On the background, by the way, that gray playmat is the Spice Price. So the King of Spice, you can win that at this tournament. So he's going to open it up. And we're kind of talking about what could you find in these booster packs. So each booster pack is going to be pretty close to the value of the 25 euros you've paid for it. But, you know, some packs are better than others. So we'll just have to wait and see. So he's opened up the pack. So each pack has uh, uh, two cards with the most value uh, together in a, in a sleeve. So here we got the first one. I believe that's going to be a basic land. Yeah, so we see a basic swamp. So each pack starts with a basic unlimited land card. So the effigy card from Legends. There we see, is that the Cat Warriors, a 2 2 Forest Walker? There we see the Scorpion. We've got a blue mana battery from Legends. I believe it's an uncommon, by the way. A Barbary Apes, so kind of the grizzly bear of legends. And there we've got an Amru Kitkin, a 1-1 one -one from legends. There we've got a Guardian Angel. And what else? What are we going to get here? Oh, it's Stone Giant. I'm really happy, I don't know why, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's an uncommon, by the way, from Legends. There we've got a weakness. And here we see an Iron Root Tree Folk. A giant shark. You, If you win Noobcon, you actually get a giant shark. And there we see a Marsh Viper. So Marsh Viper and Pit Scorpion, they can go together really well. And now we get the two value cards in here. 
So we'll see. Okay, Shatter Beta. That is really sweet. And the last one. Ooh, Relic Barrier. Actually quite useful. So a pretty good pack here. Pack number one. Now let's go to booster pack number two. And here we go. Pack number two. What will it be? And uh, he's ready for it. I believe this is actually my brother who's going to open this pack. So good luck to you, Yoop. Let's see what you're going to pull. Looks like he's having some problem here. You could still hear us uh, chatter in the back. I mean, I'm talking about this thing that happens to me at a lot of tournaments. I come to the tournament, I'm like, okay, I'm only going to buy the cards I want to buy or no cards at all. And what ends up, I drink a couple of beers, having a laugh, and I end up just buying these random legends comments. Anyway, so I'm opening this one here. And uh, they're, they were kind of hard to open up, by the way, these packs. So here he goes. So it's And we're all here cheering because we know that a pack with an island is usually a good pack. So... Here we go. So this is a revised Fungasaur. Chaos Lace is a rare, I believe. And then we've got a Phantom Monster Unlimited. White Knight Unlimited. Chaos Lace also Unlimited, by the way. Pestilence, Fireball, Regrowth, all Unlimited. Regrowth, really good pool. There's a Beta Venom. Unholy Strength. We've got the Ants, the Clay Statue, a beautiful Beta. C.O.P. Blue. Oh, look at that, a Pendlehaven. This is such a good pack. And a beta disenchant. Man, you, congratulations, man. This is a great, great booster pack. Um, you know what? Let's just open another one. Um, this, this is a lot of fun to look at. Let's go to the next one. And here we go. So booster pack number three opened here at the time on the stream of, of DadBotCon. And if you like to see old school and streams and stuff, just keep an eye on the, on the YouTube channel here on Timmy Talks because whenever I visit the tournament, I just put a cam up if the organizer allows me and I just, I film a couple of games. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Buddy, by the way, opening this booster pack. So he's got one with the basic planes. So I'm asking around now if that's a good thing because I'm still trying to find out how this system works. I know that Island is a good thing, so maybe planes is even better. I don't know. So we'll just have to see. So starting here with the basic planes, then we've got the Puppet Master from Legends. Ooh, that looks nice. A beta card. That is pretty sweet. Samite Healer. And there we see the card from uh, Tree Folk from Antiquities. Got protection from artifacts. We see the Glyph. So Fire Sprites. We see a Pegasus. Now we've got some unlimited cards here. Pestilence. We've got Yoshin Soldier. And an Argivian Blacksmith prevents damage to artifacts, I believe. There we've got some rats. We've got a, uh, a Squire. We've got Festival. So what is this? He's got a sleeve card in there. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's 25 euros of store credit. So these packs were um, were packed by uh, Power Neg. And they also have a card market account, by the way. And uh, he just gets store credit of 25 euros. So that makes this pack really, really good. Because... The price of the pack was 25 euros. He's getting that back in store credit. And there we see a Goblin Rock Slide. And actually the Weak Stone also holds some value. Also a decent card. Gives minus one minus O, I believe, to all creatures. Okay, so this was the last one. Now let's jump back to my opening. And we are back. Well, after seeing those openings, I am kind of hoping to find a blue little island here at the front. Uh, those were some nice packs. So let's, uh, let's just crack this one open. I'm not really good with prices, but I'll see if I can maybe edit them in. Let me first get some scissors, because these are quite difficult to open. Here we go. Jangani jang jang. Okay. So, oh, okay, so I've got a planes. It's not an island, but I mean, planes is okay. Planes is good, right? Got a good feeling about this. So we're starting off with the planes, unlimited planes. Then we've got, you know what, I'll just put them here. Then we've got a Ghost of the Damned. 
That's pretty nice, a Torvalki. So that's a legend. Red and black. We've got a glyph, glyph of reincarnation. Oh, these, these are just so funny. And no, I'm not gonna read this whole book to you guys. Just look up the card. It's something with wolves. It's not great. And we've got a Tender Wolves. We've got a Remove Soul. We've got a Phantasmal Forces. Okay, I just love the art of this card. I love it white bordered, I love it black bordered. I just love the art of this card. It's just fantastic. And okay. <laughs> Conservator. Oh man, this, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this card's not very useful. Then we've got a Grey Ogre, 2-2 two, two Vanilla for three. We've got a Mesa Pegasus, a 1-1 one, one Flyer with Banding. We've got a Marsh Viper. We've got a Squire. We've got a Goblin Hero. Okay, so these are like the, the two most valuable cards, right? They're usually in this. So I've got two of those. Ooh, what are we gonna get? Dark Ritual, okay, that's always good. And it's in really good condition as well. Well, it's got a couple of scratches on the top, I guess, but the rest of it looks really, really nice for such an old card. And of course, Dark Ritual is a super playable card. And then we have a Spirit Link Legends. That's pretty pretty nice. And actually a card I don't have from Legends. I've got um, the Italian, you know, foreign black bordered. I've got the um, um, the fourth edition one, but I don't have the Legends one yet. So thank you. Um, I want to say thank you, um, David, you know, for, for having these at your event. Um, yeah, just great, you know, great to open these. And what I'll do is, you know what, I'll just get them all together here and show them to you real quick. So, and I'll lift them up. It's just, it's just a lot of fun to just open these packs. It's just a lot of fun. So it's, it's kind of a mess, so I'm sorry for that, but this is basically, these are the cards that I pulled out of the booster. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks. Another shout out to David for organizing DadBotCon. It was great, my man. Thank you for that. And see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het als ik het als zomba kan zien.